Always start with your horse's front feet. It allows you to stay in a safer position when introducing foot handling. When he understands what you want, then we'll work our way back to the hind feet. We'll start beside the horse. Work our hand down, down his leg, pick it up for a few seconds, drop it, pet him, tell him that that's what we want him to do. Again, I'll have him move away, or turn, or back up. As long as he moves, it's all right. I'll go back down his leg, pick it up, have him hold it for a few seconds longer, and then drop it, and tell him that's what I want him to do. Again, always moving him. After I've released him, I always move him. Back up, go down the leg again, pick it up, we'll hold it a little bit longer this time, and then put it down. Tell him, good, that's what I wanted you to do. Again, move him. By moving him, it also allows us to take the weight off the leg. If you see him, he'll be leaning t away and keeping his weight off that inside leg. It'll set it up so we can reach down, pick up his leg, right here when he fights a little bit. I'll hold through it, right here, hold through it until he relaxes his foot, and then I'll let it down, tell him that's what I want him to do. We'll move him again, back up, go back down his foot, pick up his foot, hold it a little longer this time, start to play with his foot, maybe rub the dirt, sand out of his hoof, and start to move it around like a farrier would. Tap on it, and then set it back down. It is extremely important that you reassure him by rubbing him, letting him know that this is what you want him to do. Again, we'll go back down the leg, pick it up, we'll hold it a little bit longer this time. Let's we'll play with it a little harder. Squeeze it, tap it, move it. Do everything that you think a fairy would do at this point. Again, if he fights a little bit, just hold through it. You don't want to get in tug of war with him. Just hold through it if at all possible. When he stops fighting, gently put the foot back down and tell him that's what you want him to do. As we've done in every other lesson, everything you do on one side, you have to do to the other. So again, we start back on the other side. We'll hold it for one or two seconds, and then set it down. Tell him that's what we want him to do, and move him. We'll repeat all the same process as we did before. Again here I'll rub down his shoulder, reach down, pick it up, I'll hold it for a few seconds longer this time, so he's relaxed and calm, I'll start to play with the hoof a little bit. If he fights a little bit, hold through it. When he's calm, then you can put the foot back down. I want him to hold that foot up and not lean on me. If he leans on me, I will move his shoulders over. Then we'll start switching sides. We'll go from one side to the other. We'll work on picking the speed up on both sides. Good, we're telling that he did good.